Hey Digi fans, welcome back to DigiDom, the series of videos where I take you from zero to digital hero using Adobe Spark. Now, in today's tutorial, we're gonna be looking at poetry. My main man Jay-Z said rap is poetry, which must mean poetry is rap. Have a think about that when you're getting into the voiceover poetry challenge. Now, as always, if you're using a phone or a tablet, download the Adobe Spark apps for free, Adobe Spark page, post and video. And if you're using a laptop or a desktop, go to spark.adobe.com. So first of all, I'm using my laptop today. So you'll see I'm at spark.adobe.com and I've logged in. Uh, if you're using a phone or a tablet, you need to have downloaded the Spark video app. So I'm gonna create a project and I'm gonna go for a video because this is a voiceover challenge. And one of the really cool things about Spark Video is that you can use your voice. Uh, I'll call it Voice Over Poetry Challenge. Okay, great. Now, there are templates that you can use, but I'm gonna start from scratch because I'm gonna tell you everything. There is a tutorial that you can use, but I'm better than that, so listen up. Okay, so um, for this voiceover challenge, I've chosen this poem, Bed in Summer by Robert Louis Stevenson. Now this is from a site called Poetry Foundation. Uh, you'll see the name in the browser. Uh, I'll put the link in the description to this particular poem and please do use this, but you can use any poem you like. I'm gonna give my video a title. Bed in Summer by Robert Louis Stevenson. Okay, cool. See, it senses itself for you, which is great. Uh, now I'm gonna add in a photo. Now find a free photo here and go, just go for bed. Oh, that one looks cool. I like cats. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna get that text, put it up to the top so we can see the cat. You can actually zoom in if you like. You can move it around slightly. I like that, that looks pretty cool. Now I'm gonna do a voiceover. So you press and hold this big button in the middle, the kind of microphone button. Let's have a look. Bed in Summer by Robert Louis Stevenson. Always make sure that you hold the button until you've completely finished what you're saying. Let's have a little listen. Bed in Summer by Robert Louis Stevenson. Now, music, you'll have noticed that. Now you can have a look through all sorts of different ones here. Quite like that one. Because this is Bed in Summer, I want it to be quite relaxing. Now I like that one because it reminds me of like music that you might listen to when you're a baby uh, to get yourself to sleep. So that's pretty cool. Gonna keep that one. So we selected that one, that's great. Let's just make sure it's selected. We've got that little tick coming in there. And I've got my title screen. I'm gonna add another slide in. Um, I'm gonna add my first slide in. So I need my first bit of text. So I'm gonna copy and paste here. Now I use control C to do that. Right, let's go to text, let's pop it in there. Uh, let's find a photo. Now, nighttime, what do you see in the sky sometimes when it's, a, when it's night? You see a moon. Oh, look at that one, look at that. Great, okay, that looks awesome. Now, uh, with the text, I actually want it to be a caption. Now let's put it onto two lines. Actually, you know what, I might go even smaller. I'm gonna, put, I'm gonna start off with the text in the bottom left. I'm gonna do my voiceover. In winter, I get up at night. Don't forget, keep the button on until you've finished everything that you wanna say. Uh, I can preview here. In winter, I get up at night. New slide. Uh, what's my next line? And dress by yellow candlelight. I want you to start thinking now, what am I gonna search for? Uh, what am I gonna search for in the free images? Of course, it's gonna be candle. I think that's gonna look really cool. So change that to candle. Uh, ooh, that one's pretty cool, isn't it? And dressed by yellow candlelight. Now, uh, I'm gonna go to the text again. I'm gonna make them all captions. Now this one, we had it in the bottom left. This one, I think I'm gonna move it top right. Time to record the voiceover. And dress by yellow candlelight. Okay, preview. And dress by yellow candlelight. Cool. Add in my next slide, get my text. You don't have to copy the text, you can just type it in. In summer, comma, quite the other way. Change it to a caption, find a photo. So, ooh, that one looks pretty summery. Nice, I like it. 
Now I'm going to go, so we're on caption, that's great. But if you see that this text is a lot larger than this one and this one. So I'm going to try and make them all the same. So I'm going to text minus, I'm going to put this one top right. In summer, quite the other way. Okay, and then the last one for this first verse. Okay, add in my slide. Maybe I'll put my photo in first. Uh, Beth. Ha, this one's cool. I like that one. Put my text in. Remember, I had it copied. Have to go to bed by day. Make it into a caption. Uh, try and make it the same size as the rest of them by bringing it down. So I'm going to stick it in the bottom right. I have to go to bed by day. You can preview, like I have been doing, all of your slides by clicking on you know this little uh, play button here. But if you want to see the whole thing that you've done so far from start to finish, press this one down here. Bed in Summer by Robert Louis Stevenson. In winter, I get up at night and dress by yellow candlelight. In summer, quite the other way. I have to go to bed by day. Cool. And then it credits the people that took, actually took the photos that you use. So that's what the, this one here, this credit slide, that's what that one's for. And it's nice to give people a bit of credit for the work that they did on taking those photos that we use for free. Now, you'll see we've got another two verses to go, but I don't need to show you how to do those. I think you're pretty much experts by now. So get on with your voiceover poetry challenge. I hope you enjoyed that, Digi fans. As always, share your work with me using the hashtag DigiDom. Find me on the socials, Dom underscore trainer, so I can share your work with a larger audience, give you a digital round of applause, and just generally say, yeah, I liked it. I liked it a lot. Right, if you want to get these videos as soon as they come out, what do you need to do? You need to subscribe. Apart from that, I am going to see you in the next video. Take it easy. Oh,